And we're back, so now we'll tell her what her name is. Ack! Apparently her name was Punchy McFisty. So that's our name, guys. Our name is now officially Punchy McFisty. Have fun. You don't get to use your fist in this game, but you just... You're just known for that a lot. You have, you have a very shady past, is the thing. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, by the way, hold on. Let me go back in it. We're in Cthulhu's abode. So this is apparently where Cthulhu lives. Hey, this is highly unusual. You're so different therapist, are you not? Where's your blonde pal? A lip this. What? You lost your memory? Hehe. <laughs> Yeah, see that creepy dude that has no explanation? Get used to him! You see him a whole lot in this game. And... Wow, that jump was way too easy. I've honestly had like, times where it takes me like 10 whole minutes just doing that entire thing over and over trying to get Slap Capsule. But there's a reward that gives you 4 extra health. Which is useful. It's useful! Yeah. Uh, jump, jump. And kill that thing. Uh, in case you haven't already noticed, uh, these are experience that help level up your weapons. Um, as you can see, my uh, Polar Star, the only weapon I have right now, is at level three, <coughs> which is at level, which is at its maximum level. No weapon goes past level three. Uh, yeah. And if you get hit, I think you lose experience. And if you get hit enough, then it can, you can level your weapon down. Which is annoying, except for one weapon in the game, which is actually a good thing to level down, but I'll get to that later. Um, and what's it called? There's... I'm, I'm like, I'm like spacing out, I'm trying to explain the game now. Uh, alright. Um, it does, the, the, the experience goes to whatever weapon you're holding when you collect it, so you can like... So, you can like, kill an enemy with one weapon, and then use, collect the experience with another, and sometimes you might want to level up a weapon like that, like just level up a certain weapon without actually using it, if it's any ad you, you use it mostly for the missile launcher, because since it's the only weapon with... Well, when I show it in like two seconds, you'll, I'll, you'll understand. Uh, oh shit, this thing. There's no point in killing it. Um, save? Yeah, why not? Let's go up here. We can get that help later on. Uh, pass the computer screens. Open the treasure chest. And I obtained the missile launcher. Here we go. Now this is probably one of the stronger weapons in the game that you're gonna get for a while. Uh, the missile launcher is a powerful weapon, but it has limited ammo. Collecting additional ammunition from falling enemies. You collect it. Uh, if you read the computer screen, it says, Flying egg, flying dragon egg number 10, X that is normal. Uh, they pretty much all say the same thing except for two screens, which you'll see which ones they are in a self. Uh, might as well save now. There's a note here. Can't really get any closer to the observation room because it's shield. Should be a terminal, you can remove the shield somewhere. Uh, you'll see what I was talking about in a second. Okay, you notice how. Okay, there. Two screens are red. Egg number one is status of normal, examined further. And egg number six is also normal. So those are going to be important in a second, and you'll see why once I get her back to the elevator. Skip all this, by the way. Okay, now we're back out here. Uh, let's kill this guy whenever he shows up. Show this oh, there you are. Son of a bitch. Coming from the other side this time. Oh yeah, and here's the missile launcher hut. This is what I was saying. Uh, the missile launcher has limited ammunition, so you can use it to kill enemies and then pick up the experience, but it might not be so easy to find more ammunition. And, like, the last two weapons had, I mean, the last two enemies dropped ammunition for it, so that's kind of pointless. But it is strong. Like, you can kill this thing if you shoot right. Really? There we go. You see, it doesn't even die in one shot with the level 1. But now you can get a bunch of experience and level up. Uh, get that heart. Nice. 
collect all that ammunition and experience. And experience and experience. Oh, and uh, here's a shield that they're talking about. The observation room is obviously past there. Uh, don't even bother trying to go underneath because, as you can see, the little white thing there. What you do want to do is this. Uh, egg number one. ID required. Uh, ID card card to move shield. Now here's some extra missiles. Now you might think, where's the ID card? ID card is in here. Uh, see, told you. Uh, <laughs> I just skipped the music. Okay. Now that we have the ID card, let's get some missiles, insert the ID card, and we can remove the shield. Easy as pie. So now, we just cross the shield, and... Holy crap, there's a boss! <laughs> That's a very important test thing. Very important. Won't let anyone near them. I'll pet the rabbit and I'll call him George and I'll call him George and I'll pet the rabbit and... Yeah, let's be offensive, shall we? Uh, this is probably the best time to use your, uh, missile launcher. But at this point you should have had have it level 3, which would be a really good idea. It's times like this that I wish I had some of the later weapons in the game. Like I said, I just recently beat the game, so I'm used to having them. Uh... You're, you're gonna run out of missiles at this point, obviously, because you only have 10. Or 30, because, you know, the upgrade. Uh, oh, sh or not. So you're gonna have to do this. You can shoot, you can shoot his bubbles with your Polar Star, and I think your uh, missile launcher can do it too, but it's not as convenient with your missile launcher. And then you can just come with your Polar Star when you're done. Not too hard. It's a little difficult. I can see people dying to it, but I'm experienced. Defeated Eagle! So I guess I will save... Or not. <laughs> How about this? I'll, uh, I'll wait for you guys out here and I'll save the next episode. So see you then!